welcome to my channel, Kitty and Cosplay. Um, you guys seem to enjoy my collection videos, especially the console one, so in today's video I wanted to show you the rest of my, still not complete, but this basically wraps up the rest of my console collection, and uh, so I'm gonna finish it off with handheld collection, so look forward to that. So you know, if you know me, I got my notes. Um, what is cutie and cosplay without her notes, right? So, um, let's get into it. My first handhelds that I'm going to be talking about are, is, are Sega Game Gears. Got two of them here. Blue, black. So I, um, I actually can't remember where the, the black one came from, but uh, I did get the blue one at a flea market. And I also got most of the games for it at a flea market as well. Uh, in addition to, you know, you can always, at least back in the day, probably more, uh, you could find some good games at Goodwill too. So that's where I found some Game Gear games was at Goodwill. My next handheld I'm going to be talking about is the... Game Boy. Little Nintendo Game Boy. Oh, so this one I actually got at a yard sale for a real steal. Five bucks. Um, I, I loved playing Super Mario Land 1 and 2 on it. Um, and I remember probably the game that sticks out the most for me was Pokemon Yellow. I played played that game a lot on this Game Boy. Next handheld is the Game Boy Pocket. I, I don't remember where this one came from and I don't remember playing it quite as much as the, the Game Boy. For some reason I just like the original better. Um, but yeah, got a Game Boy Pocket. My next handheld is the Game Boy Color. I've got a purple one here. And I actually had a multi-cart for this one, but I didn't own any of these games. I just, I don't know where that cartridge came from, but it had a bunch of games on it. And the ones I remember playing the most uh, were DuckTales, Mega Man, Super Mario Deluxe, and Game & Watch. So, yeah. My next handheld is the Game Boy Advance. Uh, so, here's this little guy. So for the Game Boy Advance, I, I loved the Sonic Advance games that were on there, and I remember Mario and Luigi, I also played Superstar Saga, Mega Man Zero, Mario Kart. Um, I also had a Game Boy Advance SP in silver, but I don't know where that one went, unfortunately. And I never did get a Game Boy Micro, but it's so tiny and cute, I probably would have loved it. <laughs> so my next handheld is the original Nintendo DS. Uh, this, this handheld had so many great games and imports that um, I got to play later in its life. Uh, but <laughs> unfortunately, for most of the early years, um, I remember my mom would buy me a lot of shovelware, and I didn't realize it at the time. But yeah, I had lots of pets and puppy games and things like that. But I liked them, so maybe not that unfortunate. Oh well. My next handheld is the Nintendo DS Lite. So I, I thought that it was a much better experience having brighter screens and a bigger stylus. I liked the upgrades they made. And also I remember I had like the baby pink one, but unfortunately I don't know where that one went. Next, I've got the Nintendo DSi. So I, I didn't find this one to be that much different than the, the DS Lite, and I didn't get that much use out of the eShop, so 
you know, this was just kind of another little handheld for me. Alright, so for my next one, I had the... I kept it in this little Yoshi pouch. Um, I had the Nintendo 3DS, the original one. I had the little teal one. Oh, and I, I also had the, the new 3DS as well. So, I've talked about it in my other videos, but um, with this one, probably the highlight games that I think of when I think of my experience with DS, 3DS, whatever. Um, I, think of, I think of Phantom Hourglass, and I think of Animal Crossing. Um, yeah, I had a lot of fun with those. I remember Animal Crossing, I'd stay up super, super late, get attacked by tarantulas, things like that. Um, just be night fishing for no reason. And Phantom Hourglass, I remember, um, can't remember the name of that character now, but the guy who takes you on the ship, I had a crush on him for some reason, and I'd always be excited to go on the ship. I'd be like, yeah, it's time to, time to travel. I get to see my, my sailor cute guy. I don't know, <laughs> but um, yeah, I liked him for some reason, but now I kind of look at him and I'm like, eh, meh, what? <laughs> oh well, childhood memories, I guess, the weird things you do when you're a kid. Ah, uh, and I, I remember too, I really liked, I can't remember the name of this game, but it was just like already on there when you got your DS, your 3DS. Uh, but it was that little, like, face. I, I want to say face raiders. But you could, like, take pictures of someone's face and then you'd, like, shoot them and stuff. And I remember, at first it was, like, me doing funny faces. But then I started, like, taking from movie covers and magazines. Like, I remember one of the faces I took was, like, Oprah Winfrey at one point. So, like, you're shooting her and she's making those funny faces at you. <laughs> it was just goofy. I played that one a lot, even though it was so simple. I just like the funny faces. Um, so yeah, I enjoyed, I enjoyed that. Those, um, just the little Nintendo handhelds are definitely, or at least the, the DS ones, my favorites. Uh, so this next one, <laughs> I don't know how much it counts, but um, I had two PSPs, but I ended up selling them. I, I had the original and the 2000 model, so. They're not here, but please know they're missed. So next handheld that I've got, and uh, my last one, is the PlayStation Vita. Ooh, I almost dropped it. <laughs> bye bye Vita. Um, so the reason I sold my PSP in the first place was just because the Vita could play most of the PSP library digitally, so it was kind of like, eh, what's the point anymore? But um. But I loved this handheld. I, I had big hopes for it when I first heard about it. I kind of thought it was like a portable PS3 since it had a couple of PS3 games on it. And I always did want a, um, a portable console like the Switch or Sega Nomad. And at the time, to me, this seemed like it was going to be that. Uh, but unfortunately, it just wasn't powerful enough to run PS3 games. And it ended up being given very little support, so yeah, I, I do wish it did better. It had lots of lots of gems on it, so yeah. Anyway, that's my handheld collection to pair with my console collection that did way better than I expected it to. I'm really happy about that. And yeah, I don't, I don't know if I'll even keep this in the video, but um, I feel like it's important to 
like when you want to connect with people and like you, you want to actually do something, it's probably important to be vulnerable, so uh, if you notice the tone of this video is a little down today, I'm going through some things, but n not looking for pity because, um, yeah, basically, I, I just want to say that if I can get this channel off the ground, my, my hope, um, if I could do streaming or if I could do just more videos, just, you know, bring a little bit of, a little bit of happiness to someone's day, brighten, cheer somebody up if I'm streaming, somebody messages, maybe I could cheer them up. Yeah, I just, I have big hopes for this channel, and so I, I thank anyone that watches. I really appreciate it. So yeah, you out there watching, I hope you have a great day. And I appreciate any support. So, if you've made it through this video, that's my handheld collection. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.